Today I am going to install a Gentori on my generator. I bought this used from another RVer that wasn't using it and she wanted to clear up some space in her motorhome and it was a very good deal. I'm very grateful that she sold it to me for what she did. My little tool kit, actually all I need is a hammer out of it. Um, I have this little suction puller thing, but I'm not going to use it to pull stuff with. I'm going to use it to suction against the RV. Um, when I set up the Agenturi to stabilize it too, because I don't want to put holes in my RV. In the meantime, I might just to check out the system, use these little suction cup holders, but that's just to test it. That's not to use it on a permanent basis. And I also have a piece of wood because you need to tap it onto the pipe, the connections onto the pipe with a hammer and you don't want to use a hammer directly on the connections and bend them and a tarp to sit on. So I will open up the bag and show you the contents. And here are the contents. Um, some literature, installation instructions, the connector, that you put over the exhaust pipe and three extension poles one you mount over the extension of the exhaust pipe attachment and then two you connect to each other and they span above your RV venting away any nasty generator exhaust fumes since this is a used Genturi, it's been previously installed on another RV. It looks like I had to take this thing apart. So, because that's the wrong size. I believe there's a couple connections inside there. I hope. Okay, I'll be back. Take this thing apart. Now I'll be back. Oh good, at least it's coming right apart. It's kind of rusted. As it turns out, the other one really is too big. So, I think this is the right size. I'm going to use my board and just kind of hammer it on there a little bit. hammer on it itself. I have heard of somebody knocking off their glass pipe before. I'd be in trouble then. It's got to tighten up over that. There's no way it's going to come off. Okay, I'm going to tighten this thing down. I'll be back. I 
was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to this, but I had to go out and get my go in and get my ratchet set. Yeah. And I'll find the right size nut and get that thing put on there nice and tight. I thought I was alone today. Hmm. I've got a helper that I don't think is going to be a whole lot of help. Okay. So I needed a three millimeter nut thingy. And this I want to make sure is directly up and down. Because that's what the Genturi gets put onto. That's really too easily. I think I have the wrong direction. There we go. I see what the problem is. My extension pipe is shoved up in there, so I've got to get it out. Okay, so I guess I have to unassemble it completely. Okay, so I got my inner pipe lined up to this one, and this that will slip over this. Oops, I've got to put this thing back on first. get it all the right direction. Loosen it up to where I can push it back where I need it. Go ahead and hand tighten it. Slide it over that. And then tighten it down. I'd like to go back on that pipe further, but I'm afraid it'll break. It's kind of rusted, and it was starting to get some movement when I was banging on it, so I decided to not risk breaking it. Get this nice and tight, and we'll be good. As long as I keep it lined up, I keep pushing it back. There we go. I can feel it tightening now. There we go. Good deal. There. She's good and tight. Not going to come off. Now for the next step. Get my legs out of the way. Here is my. You take the pin out. Yikes. Okay. Oh, the whole pin comes out. Okay. Of course it does. Slide that in. Boy, I hope this isn't too heavy for that frail pipe. Might be a good idea someday to get a 
new exhaust pipe installed on my generator. This pipe has holes through it and you just put the pin through the whole way and then lock it down. Okay, so I'm going to pressure mount this about here. So I'm good and tight. Actually, I guess I need to loosen to make it higher. These you don't ever want to just pull, especially with fiberglass. You don't want to pull your uh, fiberglass off the frame. That would suck. And now I see I have to turn it around. So you release it. Put it up here. Tighten it back down. Don't pull too hard because that's actually a dent puller and that could cause your fiberglass from separating and that would suck. Okay. So there's one pole. And they say it's supposed to make your generator one run quieter too. I think that's the top pole. Okay, I'm going to assemble these on the ground. Like so. I'm trying to do this one handed so I can hold the camera with the other. And then. Whoa! Yikes! Box stuff on the head with it. That's not good. It's a little top heavy for me. And then put this part here. Best done with two hands rather than one. I think I can. Oh, I don't like what. I'm afraid of my pipe. Okay. I only did this this way so that I could show you with the camera. So there is my Gentry installed. It will keep the fumes off the ground, away from my RV. Of course, I'll close my windows and hatches when I run the generator. In fact, I'm going to do that now. I'll be back. And this, really, the straps should be separated, so I'm going to get another one of those suction cup things. I don't have a second one, so I'm going to have to go buy a second one because I do not want to put holes in my RV for this thing. I almost forgot that I have to unplug. Before I can start the generator. I don't have an override system on this RV. Okay, <laughs> now I'll go start the generator. They said in order to test it to make sure it's working properly is to hold a little piece of tissue at that vent where I just did. If it sucks up, then it's working just fine. So I'm in business. Got my Gentry set up. Have it attached so that now all I have to do from now on is just attach the tubes. Not really smelling much of an odor, so that's a good thing. 